All right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to do a neat exercise with L'Hopital's rule, which simply says the following. Suppose the limit as x goes to infinity of f plus f prime exists is a finite number and moreover if you multiply f by e to the x and take the limit this blows up to infinity show that in fact the derivative of f has to go to zero and it turns out there are many functions that satisfy this criterion for instance constant functions that works or one over x that also works and even i believe e to the minus x over two and notice that in all those examples, the derivative of the function goes to zero. And so let's prove this, and you'll see the proof is as quick as the problem statement. That's why I wanted to cover it. And notice the following. We have some info about f. So let's start with the limit as x goes to infinity of f. So limit x goes to infinity of f of x. And moreover, we have e to the x times f. So how about, and here's the trick, just multiply top and bottom by e to the x. So that becomes a limit as x goes to infinity of e to the x, f of x, over e to the x. But now notice, by assumption, the numerator goes to infinity and the denominator also goes to infinity. So we have infinity over infinity, and what time is it? It's L'Hopital's time. So by L'Hopital's rule, L'Hopitalu, I guess, or I don't know, this becomes the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the x, f of x, prime over e to the x, prime, almost like Amazon Prime and <laughs> what we get then in the end is you have to erase that. well if you now use a Prada loop you get the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the x f of x plus e to the x f prime of x and divided by e to the x but now if you factor out e to the x this cancels out and you get that this is the limit as x goes to infinity of f of x plus f prime of x. Now this would be a problem if this goes out to infinity but by assumption we know that this exists. So in the end we find the limit of f is the same as the limit of f plus f prime and that will allow us to conclude because what's the limit of f prime of f prime of x? Well, that's the same thing as the limit x goes to infinity of f of x plus f prime of x minus f of x. Okay, by a reverse cancellation if you want. Now, that would be an issue if those limits didn't exist, but they do. So this becomes the limit as x goes to infinity of f of x plus f prime of x minus the limit as x goes to infinity of f of x. But we literally found that those two limits are the same. So this cancels out and in the end we get zero. How neat is that? All right, if you like this and want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.